Hello, my fellow eggheads. This is Liz. I'm your Dell Certified Technician that will take you through this tutorial. First, we're going to start off with how to replace a hard drive. If you want just the Windows 11 installation portion, then you can skip to minute two in this video. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fast forward this taking up and opening up the bottom panel portion because it's boring. Um, if you need help with opening up, you can always look up a breakdown video on YouTube or go to Dell.com and look up your service manual. So now first thing I'm going to do is unplug my battery because you don't want power going to the board when you're working on it. I'm using a plastic tool, not a metal one. Uh, you don't want to touch metal to a battery. Bad idea. Now I'm going to take this hard drive off. Uh, this hard drive doesn't have a caddy. You may have a caddy, so you may actually have to unscrew it. It just unplugs like so. Uh, so this might vary a little bit from hard drive to hard drive, but the same basic idea. So this is what a typical hard drive looks like oftentimes. Um, this is pretty standard. They can vary from model to model, so this might not be what you have. But this is a SATA connection, and it's a 2.5 inch. So if your hard drive looks like this, there's a pretty good chance that's what you need. And now I'm going to plug it back in. Now this connection how it kind of comes off. Sometimes you might have to slide it in and out as opposed to being able to pull it straight out the hard drive. And now I'm going to plug my battery back in as you see. And now I'm going to close the whole thing up by putting that bottom panel back on and I'm going to screw everything down. And now we're going to move on to the Windows 11 portion of this video. If you need a USB, a bootable USB, we have a link down below on how to make one free on Microsoft.com. And that's in the description down below. So you're going to take that bootable USB right now. And you are going to plug it into your Alienware computer. And then you're going to hit your power button. And you're going to immediately start tapping on F12 to get to the boot menu. So once the boot menu pops up like so, now you'll use your arrow keys to arrow key down to, it will say something like UEFI and then the name of your USB, hit enter, and it will eventually bring you to your installation screen. Okay, so now I'm at the setup window. I hit next and then install now. You accept all the, that little checkbox right there and then hit next, custom install. Now we're going to delete all these partitions off of, if you have two hard drives, only delete them off of the hard drive you want to install Windows on. But for me, I have one hard drive, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete everything. As a side note, you will lose all your information when you delete it. So I select the drive and hit next. Now this process will simply just take some time. It's going to do, do the getting ready files, ready for installation, you get your features, your updates. Each one of these steps takes a while. I'm going to fast forward it a little bit so that we don't have to wait. And then it's going to restart a couple times possibly. Um, you're going to get a couple different screens. But slowly it will get there. Uh, so don't worry if it restarts a bunch of times. It's just a part of the process. All right, so now we're at the Windows 11 setup screen. Exciting, isn't it? Okay, so I'm in the United States, so that's what I'm picking. And then I hit yes. And then I keyboard yes. I don't need an additional keyboard, so I'm going to hit skip. I am not going to say I have internet. I'm going to set that up when I get in there because I don't want to be forced to sign in with my Microsoft account. I'm just going to make a local account with my name. I was going to put Dell, but you know what? I'll put my actual name. And hit next. I'll set up the password later. And I hit next for the privacy and accept. And then it's just going to load a little bit more. We're in the home stretch at this point, almost done. Depending on your computer, this can take uh, you know a varying amount of time. So be patient with your computer. Ta-da! 
Windows 11. So that is how you go about installing Windows 11 on your computer. Have any questions? Leave them down below. Thank you for your continued support of our channel, both through subscribing and through Patreon. Also, a big shout out to our fellow eggheads who purchase merchandise from our store. And as always, thank you for liking and sharing our videos. From one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.